So this is just a quick recap of today's trade plan. <clears throat> Obviously, this morning at open, we had a short um, ran down. I think I had 140% on this. Um, and it was just because of the 200 EMA, um, 9 EMA, the way they approached each other, which everybody was live. You understand that. Um, but after we were done with live, we saw a bear flag forming. Um, so what I did was I went in and I made a train plan for everyone. We had a long side um, possible entry. When I say possible, that just means we're looking for something specific as we're going into that level to tell us that we should enter this because it's probably going to go to the next level. Um, so we had our long side entry point, long side scale point, and long side target. On the short side, we had our possible entry, the scale point, and the target. Um, and this is the picture that I posted earlier um, for the alert section. I'm making this video to solely explain um, how we should approach these and, and how we should trade these every day. Um, obviously, we're in a range right now, so this is a big benefit for people. And I know there's a lot of people in the Discord that are still learning um, kind of as we go. But what I want people to understand is that when we're in a range, we can trade these same trades several times in a day. Um, and I'll close this out and show people what, exactly what I'm talking about. And I know uh, that it's kind of blurry now because the, the chart did play out. So I'll try to move these over. Um, hopefully everybody can still read it. Um, so I'll just move this over to like this so we can all still, still read it and still understand. So what I mean by these alerts is, and when I said you can trade these multiple times in, in a day, okay, um, well, if we look back at the alert section, we alerted it over here, kind of, uh, where was the candle? Let me pull that back up one more time. Okay. We had this, we alerted it on this candle here. We're pulling into it. So I had a possible entry point here. It didn't touch it over here. It did. And where a lot of people go wrong as traders is not re-entering and immediately changing their bias. We should not do that as traders. We should trust our gut and understand, okay, well, we saw this. So what a lot of people will do is they will get faked out right here and then it'll start bouncing back up and they'll be like, oh, I'm bullish now because it didn't break the, the level initially. No, you have to have a reason to change your bias. Um, right here, if you were trading this, there was no confirmation on this chart. Um, so we'll just pretend like we entered this trade right here um, from the alerts and the pictures that literally says enter here, scale here, and then close here. Um, so this would have been one trade. We got faked out, broke the 90 MA. So say our stop loss was right there. We'd close that trade. This is where people go wrong is by not re-entering. Um, this would have been a hundred percent trade on zero DTE. So, okay, we come up, we reject the 90 MA. We come back down, we try again. This is where the trade gets really interesting. Why? Because when we're entering these trades and we have those key levels, we're looking for the 90 MA to push us through to the next level. What did we see here? Okay, came up, we rejected that 20. Okay, so it didn't work out there. We stopped out of the first attempt. Over here, we broke below, we come up. The nine EMA met the candle at our level for entry. We would enter on this candle for a second attempt if we did enter over here. We would enter for a second attempt. We would push it down to our scale target. I alerted this in the Discord. We push it down. This is our first scale point. We scale our position. Then we end up stopping out of this trade again. Here's where it gets fun. On range days, this is where we can continuously make money, whether it's two trades, three trades, whatever it is, we continue to make money. We come back up to VWAP. VWAP was a magnet today. Obviously, you can see we never hit our long side potential entry. So we're coming back down. We reject off VWAP. We push back into it. Guess what? short side possible entry we enter again this is where it gets crazy our second no this is the third because we were saying we tried to enter here we entered here we scaled here stopped out so this is a green trade this was a red trade that we lose 20 50 dollars over here we get a 50 to 100 percent trade we make a hundred dollars uh then over here we come back into it. We can enter this same trade again. This makes three times. We can enter the same trade again. Once we post these and say possible entry for short side, possible entry for long side, they stay the same all day if we're chopping. They stay the same. 
So this is our third attempt, and look what happens this time. This is an even bigger trade than the time before, because why? We knife right down to our scale point, we scale here, then guess what? We taper on down to our target. We hit our target, we close the trade, we're done. So I think if anyone was red today, uh, well, one, you weren't on live this morning because this was an awesome trade that we first got. But if anyone was red today that didn't catch that, it's because you didn't re-enter. I don't post these in the alert section for, for no reason. We could have got three trades out of one single alert today, but you have to know how to manage the trades and that's what we teach. And I think everyone in here understands, but three trades, one wrong, two right. The one wrong might lose 20%, whatever it is, if we're smart, one right, 50 to 100%, then another one, 100 to 200%. So our wins outweigh our losses if we eat the same bias and understand why did we see this initially well when i posted that chart we saw a bear flag until it breaks this top side long target i'm not changing my bias from bearish um, i'm going to stay bearish and we rejected off of vwap again and broke down hit our target overall target so three trades two wins one loss that's how today should have went hopefully everybody understands this if not after i post this video feel free to ask questions but don't take these alerts lightly they work you guys watch me consistently make profits every day. So how am I doing it? I'm taking these alerts. I understand how to use, utilize them and, and, and capitalize on them. Today was a perfect example of that. Yes, we were chopping, but we still could have had three great trades after the live session was over. Or uh, two great trades because the first one was not great because it was a false breakout. Um, but still, profitable day. Nobody should be red today, and it's okay if you were red today. That's fine, but once you see this and you understand this, don't change your bias. Keep the same bias and, and keep the same trade plan. Tomorrow when the market opens, you guys can make a trade plan and keep it. Obviously, if it's a trend day, um, you know this, we would still be in the trade all the way up tomorrow. But if it's a chop day, you can keep the same, same trade over and over and over, and you can just keep trading it. Um, on trend days, obviously, we'll just scale and then let the runners run and keep moving our stop loss up. But today is a great example of how to trade chop and how to utilize these alerts. It works. That's all it comes down to. Um, anyone has any questions about this, feel free to post in the public chat or wherever um, after this because I'm going to post this publicly and let everyone understand You know how simple this really can be if you if you don't change your bias.